Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So since Shaney's Manifest has finally come out, one of my subscribers suggested I try to take on that last 8th spirit, the raccoon, that I couldn't beat earlier with my water team. And so, uh, here's the video. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Also, I do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me that way. So you can see you do have to head to Ship Graveyard at that location and press around the chandelier to obtain the key item in order to unlock this particular mystery and go in. And of course for you who have already beaten some or all of these, you'll know that you'll have to now press on the Dogu in order to uh, unlock that particular door. And we're going to take on this Fire Raccoon. Now this one has given me a lot of trouble. And uh, part of the reason is, of course, that I don't have a great water DPS team, especially without uh, the likes of AS Yuna to activate Water Zone. Um, this boss has about 20 million HP and it has a 5 turn rotation. Okay, so turn 1 is going to just do an AoE here that also causes confusion. Keep in mind that I do have a confusion immune status badge on uh, Mariel in order for her to craft Refresh Leap on turn 2. And then he does a sing two single target attacks that can uh, lock one move. So um, there is a little bit of RNG there in terms of not locking moves that you need in order to apply DPS. Now I have upgraded Dewey to 5 star. I had him at 4.5 and, and I will have a video featuring him in future. That being said, uh, we're going to do a turn 3 AF right here. Now note that with uh, Shaney's Manifest, we can now apply multiple water and physical resistance debuffs using her epic tail. And what I did is I did two stacks, and then I also used uh, um, you know, the rest of the DPS multi-hits, especially Dragon Hand, Water Slice, and so on and so forth, in order to apply as much damage as possible. Also keep in mind that uh, Shaney with Manifest does support the entire team in terms of boosting uh, water damage for your entire team. Dewey also has Steam Assist that can do the same thing, but I uh, neglected to use that and used him to instead apply more hits with his double XL uh, Blunt Attack. Alright, so after that turn 3 AF, where we did about 13.7 million, turn 4 is of course, uh, you know, an AoE fire. All water uh, 5 stars will resist that fire attack more so than others. Also keep in mind that we did use an Int debuff with uh, Dewey. He does have a 20% empty buff that helps protect your team as well. So you can see I didn't use any sort of magical uh, shielding in terms of Aurora Force or um, Aqua Wall. And in turn 5, unfortunately, it's a single target 99999 damage to any random character. Now I did try this a couple times, so in, in this case, my team does rely on some RNG. If you lose um, either uh, Dewey, Claire, or Cyrus, it's not a problem. It's Shaney that really runs this entire team and it's the engine for uh, applying as much DPS to the team. Also bear in mind that if you do lose Dewey, you don't have access to that int debuff anymore, so you need to make sure you have a, enough shielding with Mariel. Keep in mind that you can also use Pure Cradle to heal at this point if you want to be less aggressive. In this case, I decided to try to go for an AF right off the bat and rotate in Mighty. Probably not the best idea being that I was taking some risks Especially since um, Dewey is only at 400 HP and the next turn does have a single target uh, attack that also applies fire resistance debuff. In this case, we are fortunate to have Shaney take the hit. If Dewey took the hit, we would only have 3 people running the AF bar. But that being said, the boss only has about 3-4 million HP left and so we should be able to end it with a near full HP um, AF bar. It really does help that with the without having a zone, the triple hit by Leclerc really really does help. And her manifest weapon, which again I will also feature in a future vi vi uh, feature video, uh, helps her speed and power up uh, stackable up to three times. And so that really helps speed up her attack, so she can get multi cycles in on this AF and land as many hits as possible. Now, if you did watch the two AFs that I did use um, when I was using Cyrus. He was actually using, doing a lot less damage than the rest of the team. Bear in mind though that he has no Grasta on him uh, since I don't find him to be a core character and therefore um, at this point I didn't want to give any valuable 20% um, power of current uh, Grasta on to him. That being said, 
finally, finally, finally beat this boss. Stop flexing, Dad! Sometimes you just gotta flex. This one was tough. So let's see what we get in terms of a reward uh, for this particular boss. I believe I'm only missing one weapon, which is the hammer. I do apologize. Normally I would bring up the menu to show what the hammer does, but in my excitement, I forgot to uh, do that in this part of the video. So I do apologize ahead of time. Now that being said, all eight spears have finally been defeated. And so we're going to back, go back to the Dogu Master in order to talk to him, I guess, and see what's up. Also, keep in mind that you do get a lot of gold badges, uh, which either reward 50 stones or more uh, for finishing these eight spears. So if you haven't gotten upon these at all, and you still need a lot of stones to summon for uh, your featured banner, then make sure you go ahead and do so, provided you do have the right team composition and so on and so forth. Uh, if you do need help, I do have all the videos up um, in my channel um, you know, to help review if you need to see what kind of move rotation or what kind of defenses you do require. A lot of them are very tough, and I would say all of them are much tougher than the first round of Eastern Horrors uh, back in present Garelia. Okay, so he sends us on one more wild goose chase to get what we need. And so we're heading down to the lowest uh, part of the um, funeral cavern where the Dogu boss was. And so uh, this shiny thing wasn't there before, but since we have now defeated the eight spirits and spoken to the Dogu master, we can now obtain two clear orbs. And of course, you know what's next. We're going to bring those back to the Dogu master and help uh, him recover all his memories. Now at this point, I'm going to step stop, stop talking and let you watch the rest of the video in peace. Um, I will say that this last part of the conclusion does have some feels to it, so hopefully you enjoy it if you haven't already beaten it, and um, I definitely did enjoy it. Anyways, thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.